Hey everyone, I'm here with one of the biggest updates for Stackby in 2024. We have now released automations in Stackby. Yes, you've heard it right. Internal automations like Zapier or Pabli right inside the Stackby platform for you to automate your manual tasks and to get things done. Now let's see how it works. So you see there is a new tab called automation here. Here you will find the list of all your automations on the left and you can go ahead and create an automation. I'll just go click on an automation. There are two things in an automation. One is a trigger and one is an automation. So you need to, one is a trigger and one is an action. So you need to select a trigger. Uh, and there are a few triggers that we've added and we're continuously adding more. Say a trigger could be when a row is created, updated, or when a form is submitted, or when a row enters a particular view, or at a particular schedule time, or when a row matches a particular condition. Now let's say when a row is created. So you can then select the table. Let's say in the applicants table, and you can select the test step. So you can choose a row, you know, which row you want to basically uh, do the test step on. So I'll just select this particular row. You will see the input, uh, you know, the, 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 there's this table and which row, you know, has been selected and what are the field values of the, those row. So you can basically see that. Now you can select one of the actions. So there are four actions that we have started with and we are, of course, you know, going to add more. Uh, create row, update row, send an email or find a particular row. So let's say when a row is created, you want to send an email to someone. Uh, so there is an action type called send email. Uh, you can then basically see the configuration of those actions. In the email configuration, you will see, uh, you know, who do you want to send the email to? And you can select from here the email column type. You can add the subject uh, line. Say we'll call it test email uh, for this particular name. So I can even add variables onto my test subject like this. And I can send a message. Hello name. This is the test email. Right. And I can choose a te test step. So you can basically, there are two options. One is to generate a preview. Uh, so generating preview. Uh, tells you how you know the action would look like so once you generate a preview it will look like this so the email will be sent you know from name will be this and uh, subject would be this and this would be the body uh, and this would be you know who it will send it to uh, if I want to change anything I can quickly change here right or I can uh, change the you know from name as well let's say I'll call it stack by HR and I can you know, just run this as a test or generate a preview again. So you'll see the from name would be stack by HR. And if you run as configure, it will be, it will run as test. So now you will see in, I've got an email and this is how the email looks like, right? So this is how, you know, automations work, you know, in stack by now I've created some pre-built automation just to tell you how, you know, all those different types of, you know, things can work. Let's say you're an HR manager managing your applicant tracking and, uh, you know, you want to basically automate uh, sending emails to every single uh, applicant form that's been submitted. Uh, so you want to send an email to the particular candidate uh, stating that, you know, you've received a particular, um, you know, you've received their application. And if you want to also send them, you know, status updates on, you know, their application via email. So you can automate these tasks, you know, much easily in Stackby. Now I've created three different automations that I want to go through. I've got an applicant tracker uh, database where I've got the applicants and within the applicants, you know, those applicants are coming through an applicant tracking form. So you will see there is an applicant tracking form here. And anybody who fills this form, uh, you know, we want to basically uh, send it to our team that we have received uh, an email or we have received a form submission uh, for a particular applicant. So I'll go to automation here. The first automation that I want to show is, you know, form to email when a form is submitted. So I, when, so trigger would be when a form is submitted, you know, I want to select the table, which is applicants, select the view, which is applicant tracking form. I can choose a particular row and then send an email would be send email. Here, of course, I have to send to the email uh, column type. 
Um, so here I will add the subject. Let's say the new applicant for a particular open profile. Let's say open profile. So I'm just going to add the open profiles again and uh, the name. Let's just add it again. Right. And here I've already added a message. Uh, Hello HR, here's the new form response. I can even make it bold uh, and so on. So I, for bold, I just have to add the double asterisk. Here the name is name, profile applied for this, salary expected, salary expected, please do the needful. Uh, so any, any, anyone who submits a form, you know, you will automatically get a message to your HR email address that, that there is a new form response and you can test a step. You can generate a preview or run as configure here. If you generate a preview, you will see, you know, this is how it will look. And if you just run as configure, run as test. So you will see, you will get an email. So this is how the email would look like. Right, hello HR, there's a form response. The name is this, profile applied for this, salary expected is this, please do the needful, right? So at any any time there is a new applicant through your applicant tracking form, you'll get an email, you know, to your HR uh, email address. That is one automation. Now let's look at another automation. Now this automation is more candidate facing. So let's say you, basically you are tracking the status of each of those applicants. You know, there are, you know, the applicants is going through first round pass, second round pass, kept on back burner or hired or rejected. So let's say if any applicant goes to rejected and you want to send them an email, uh, like an automatic email that your application has been rejected, but uh, not at this time, but we'll you know, definitely contact you in the future. You can send those emails. So here there is an email on status update. Here, what you need to add is, you know, when a row matches condition, choose the applicants table and you will add, you can basically add the conditions where status is rejected. You can even add more conditions where status is rejected or where applying for is assistant HR. So you can make it as granular as possible for your row conditions. So let's say I just want to use this. I can choose a particular row. Only the rejected rows will show up. So let's say Jason is in the rejected mode and I can send an email. Again, send email. And here the subject would be stacked by application status update. Hello name, thanks for going through the interview process. We are here to inform you that this time your application is not selected. We'll keep your resume for any future opportunities. So I can generate a preview. I can see how those emails will look like. And here I can add um, from name as stack by HR. And I can run as configure. So as soon as it's run, You can see there is a new email from Stack by HR. Hello, Jason. Thanks for going through the process. We'll keep your resume for future opportunities in Sally Stack by HR. So this is how you can automate, uh, you know, the email sending process for your applicant tracking workflow. And you could do the same for, uh, you know, your task management or your project management or marketing campaign management or content calendar. Uh, you can send emails to your team members whenever there is a status update or um, uh, you know, or if there is, you know, a form submission. Now, the third thing is now, let's say, um, you know, if you want to, um, basically as soon as a, an applicant is hired, you know, uh, we want to add them to the onboarding, uh, checklist, uh, table. So I've created a separate table for onboarding where only the hired applicants will show up here. And we just want to track whether, you know, they've been onboarded properly. So here I've just added the name, the email and the phone number, which I want to automatically bring as soon as an applicant is hired from one table to another, from applicants to onboarding and then add an onboarding checklist. So here I've already added a checklist, you know, for, uh, you know, particular candidate. So let's say the third automation is the onboarding flow here. When the, when applicant, when the status is hired, uh, and I can just choose a row, create a new row. And here I've just added, uh, you know, an action would be a create row. The table would be onboarding and I just have to map the columns one by one. So let's say I'll just remove this again. So I've, I've mapped name to name, name to name, uh, email to the email column type, 
phone to the phone number column type. Right. And I can see the test step. You will see the row will be created and you can run as configure. So as soon as it's tested, you will see a new row is automatically added here. I'll just delete this row. Now, all I need to do is just start the automation, you know, enable, disable the automate, uh, enable the automation. And you can see, uh, you can also go to the test automation, select a record. Let's say I want to add a record for Masumi and I want to run an automation just for Masumi. So you will see a new record is added here. Um, so all I need to do is then just, um, you know, start the automation and get it started, you know. So once the automations are set up and they're running, uh, you know, once you enable the automations, you can basically see uh, how many automations have run and how many have been canceled or how many have been failed in the run history tab. So you can see uh, there are different automations that have been run. You know, when a form is submitted, there is a success. You can see the row ID and the column value. And you know that there, there is an email that has been sent, you know, to a particular applicant. So you can see the run uh, run history from the run history tab, you know, for all the different automations that you have. So uh, this is how you can quickly, uh, you know, set up your automations and get things up and running in Stackby. Uh, we are going to continuously keep adding uh, new triggers and actions, you know, within the platform. So today it's mostly Stackby related actions and triggers, but we are also going to launch more uh, internal and third party apps uh, you know, triggers and actions as well. So continue using Stackby. We're trying to make the platform better each day. And with this update, you know, you can take your Stackby workflows to the next level. So two more interesting things that are coming. One is webhooks and other is WhatsApp automation. So through that, you know, you can also do all sorts of, you know, automations in Stackby. And, you know, the possibilities with automations and your databases are just endless. So give it a try and give us your feedback and let us know what you think. Cheers. Bye.